All right, boat, I think you're getting the floor. Wow, those are way lighter than when they were cut. I think those are dry. Now the width gets a little bit wider as it goes up here. I could just cut the skinniest size and that would fit everywhere, but I think I'll just custom fit all the boards so they all fit nicely. And maybe put numbers on them so I know which way they go or whatever. This is the strongest board, or at least that's what it feels like to me. So I'll use that one as the first board and I'll find another strong one to put at the other end. Because the, the ones between are gonna rest on each other We'll get to that in a little bit. All right, let's cut this guy. Ninety-one and a quarter Imperial noodle units. All right, this tile should have a ninety-degree angle, I think. This isn't the strongest wood, but it is very light, which is why I wanted it for a boat. The wood is laurel, or laurel, and I'm still learning about, you know, Central American woods, but I've been told that this is pretty light, actually it's very light, it's, it's pretty strong, and it has good uh, weather resistance. This is a little more flexible than I want it to be. It's not bad, but I went into my pile and picked out the thickest board, so I'm gonna do the rest of this with the thicker boards. I think these ones are fine here. Like one board will hold me up. And they're gonna be linked together. And if I'm if I have anything heavy I'm putting in the boat, I'm gonna put it back there anyway. So I'll just leave these ones. These are all cut by chainsaw, so there's a fair amount of variation. Here's two thinner ones. Here's a bunch of thicker ones. Well, that one's pretty good. Wow, yeah, that's a big difference from the thicker boards back here. Much stiffer. All right, now I want to link all the boards together so when you put weight on one, it puts the weight on all the boards. Oh, and this board doesn't quite fit, but I think they're still going to shrink a little bit. I bet this one's going to fit in a few days. So I screw and glue a block onto this board, and it's upside down right now. It'll be flipped over like that. And this is going to end up going under the board next to it. Now I'm going to put longer ones under every board alternated like this, so they can slip under each other. And then any time you step on one board, it's going to rest on the, the piece that's attached to the next board. And that way, it'll spread the weight out. So here's the first one right here, and then this one's offset so that it'll be able to go under and they won't hit each other. Now I am relying heavily on glue because I don't have that many screws at the moment. Stainless screws at least. Hopefully this fits right in there nicely. There, look at that. And uh, now they're locked together. 
Let's do that the whole way down. I'm not gonna put too much pressure on it right now, obviously, because I want I'll wait till the glue dries. So why don't I just take one board and glue it right along the whole bottom? Well, it's because then the floor is all one piece, and if I want to take it off, that's gonna be a huge pain in the butt. This way I can take off individual boards if I want to save weight for something or if I need to replace a board or whatever. Uh, it's, a, it's much easier to deal with everything. Wow, that is significantly stiffer now. Nice. All right, before I rip any of those screws out, I'll get off it and let the glue dry. But now I want to paint it. Ah, Jamie, why would you paint the beautiful wood? Well, it's a working boat and I, I, need, to, I need performance more than I need beauty. Although paint can be beautiful in its own way. Anyway, I just want to paint the tops to keep rain and sun off the wood. That'll make the wood last a lot longer, and also it'll keep the wood from soaking up a bunch of rain, getting heavy and weighing down the, bo the boat when I'm not even carrying anything. Oh, and the red is oil paint. That means it's gonna take like three days to dry or a week or, oh, I could probably use it after three days. Well, I guess that means I'm gonna have to take all the boards off, paint them, go back to using my temporary boards for a few days or a week or whatever, and then I can get my real floor. Oh, that's gonna be the hardest part of the whole thing. I don't even get to use it right away. Ah, it's fine though. All right, good. Give those a few days and I'll get them on there. And in the meantime, I'll just have to stick with my temporary boards. Oh, I can't wait to get that in place. So why am I only painting the tops and not the bottoms? Well, if you paint all the way around a piece of wood, it makes moisture harder to get in. It makes it harder for moisture to get in. But then it also makes it harder for moisture to get out. So any water that gets in is trapped. This way, you know, it's protected from rain. The rain will come off down the sides. But any moisture that does get in the wood will still be able to evaporate out the bottom and the sides. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if I should put two coats on this. Oh, I, I guess I should. It will protect it better. All right, all right, all right. All right, that should be good. Nice and red. All right, boat. Just be patient for a few days. Man, I really like how that map came out. It's been a couple days. Oh, I think that's ready. Just cut, but... Better get a shot of it now. It's never gonna stay this clean. The five of us just went to the store and back. It's about a 10 kilometer round trip. So it's like an hour-ish, you know, plus however long we spend at the store. Um, so one person sits here in pedals, one person sits over there in pedals. Uh, little kid, at least, well, the littlest kid who can't swim stays inside the box. And then anyone else goes in the front and the front takes all the cargo stuff. I gotta say, I really am enjoying this boat. It's a it's a good mix of performance and comfort, like er, not ergonomic 
excellence. And comfort does matter when you go on, you know, sometimes eight hour long round trips. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this. Now I gotta think about those solar sails. But I, to do the solar sails, I'm gonna need a few days of dry weather. And it's been raining off and on. So uh, I'm not in any rush though. The solar panels won't be here for a couple months and the, the motor won't be, so I, I have some time. Also, I was originally going to keep this boat out of the water, but it looks like that's not going to happen because it's, I've been parking it right here. So I have been wiping off the bottom like every day, every other day. So as long as I keep doing that, it should stay nice and clean and smooth on the bottom. Hey, choppers, what's that? Yeah, yeah. That's a saw?